it's Gav here from dartsplanet.tv and thanks for joining me as always. We're a couple of days into the World's Darts Championships now and I'm absolutely loving it. Some of my predictions have been good, some have been bad. But today I'm bringing you um, my uh, day seven schedule and my predictions for the World's Darts Championship in the Ali Pali, which is on Wednesday, December the 20th from 7pm. There is four games that evening. We've got the one prelim game and then we've got the three first round proper as I call it. So the, the prelim game is the best of three sets and the first round proper um, is the best of five. The winner of the prelim game will get to play Justin Pipe in the final game of the evening. I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. Just before I start, they are fun, I am enjoying them and you know that I get back to you. So please do get involved and leave your um, predictions um, below and it's good. I'm going backwards and forwards with loads of you having some really good banter on this. So I really appreciate your support and everything guys. So without further ado, here I, here I go. You can see these are the um, fixtures for the day. Um, and I'm going to go through one game at a time. So first of all, we have got, you're going to love this. I know that many of you are laughing about my name pronunciation. So I'm just going to say Chen Zong. Just Chen Zong, nothing else, against Bernie Smith. Now you'll see I've got question marks on this particular one. And the reason for that is because I don't know enough about either player. But I'm hoping that you guys who, who have come in and um, give me feedback on other players that I know nothing about can leave your comments below and let me know a little bit about them. Who do you think is going to win out of these two? I know nothing about them, guys, so I'd really appreciate that. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to move on to the next match, which is, as you can see here, is Michael Smith against Steve Lennon. I love the bully boy. I think he's great. Um player and um, when he is on he is on this guy can hit 180s for fun we've seen it lots of times he's obviously had a lack of confidence especially after coming out of the Premier League um, a couple of years ago it really didn't do him any favours I think it put him back I think he's got that behind him now he's getting his confidence back and I think that he's going to have too much for Steve Lennon there's nothing against Steve Lennon in this one he's been on telly uh, a few times recently but he ain't going to have enough um, he ain't going to have enough in the locker to keep, to keep the bully boy um at bay, I don't think. I think the bully boy's nickname is going to stand up to. I think he's going to bully Lennon, and I think that he's going to win this one quite comfortably and come out a winner at three one. We then go on to the next game, which is Simon the Wizard Whitlock with his magic, and he's got Martin Schindler. Really tough one, this one. Um, I've been going backwards and forwards actually of who to go um, on it, but I have put Whitlock to win it three two. Do because he's got more experience in the world than what Schindler has. Schindler's obviously quite new on, not new on the scene, but what I mean is he's a, a lot younger. Younger players not got um, Whitlock's experience, but he is a danger man. This kid can play, and he is going to be one to watch out for in the future. But I'm going with Whitlock because he's got lots of experience. He is, you know, he's now getting back into the sort of top ten. He needs to have a good run to keep up there. Um, I'll even put him down. I'd like to see him back in the Premier League because I think that's where Whitlock belongs. Yes, he had a slump. But all players go through it. So I've got the Whitlock to win this one in a really tough game, um, but to come through against Schindler. 3-2. We then go into the final game of the night and that is Justin Pipe and he is going to be playing the winner of the prelim who, as I said at the start of the video, I've got no clue who's going to win it. Um, but what I have done is I put that Pipe's going to win this 3-1 three, three um, but any prelim game now isn't like it was like 10 years ago. 10 years ago there were some people in there as I mentioned on other videos where I think I could have played in the world and I really ain't a good dark player at all but some of them I fancied my chances against. So any of them that go through to play him obviously can play darts. I don't think Justin's pipe is the player he was. Yes, he reached the semi-final recently at Minehead and got through. But I think even then, you know, a lot of uh, the other players didn't play at their best. Not taking anything away from Justin Pipe. It's going to have too much for whoever come through the prelim, I personally think. And he's going to win this one 3-1. So these are my results for day seven. Um, not my results, my predictions for day seven on Wednesday, December... Uh, the, the 20th of December from 7pm. Don't forget to tune in. And listen, guys, if you're enjoying the videos, um, please get involved in them. Leave your comments. I will get back to you. I won't look at them and can't be bothered because I enjoy it. It's what I love doing, and I will get back to you. Um, as always, if you like the videos, please leave me a big... Um, a like, a big thumbs up, um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As always, it's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing your comments, and I'll catch you next video, guys. Bye.